Welcome back to It's Everyone's Business. Um, today I'm here with Tyla Malcolm, who is the owner, operator of Parlor Hair Boutique. Hi Tyla, how are hey, you? Good, how are you? Good, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for being on. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, kind of like where you got your start and, and whatnot. And um, we were kind of talking about uh, a little bit before um, about uh, how you went from one extreme to the other. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So <laughs> tell me a little bit before you started doing um, the glamorous job of doing hair, what did you do before that? Um, well, I was actually commercial fishing on my husband's boat. Yeah, so definitely a little opposite. <laughs> um, yeah, I was fishing with him for about four years and then just decided that I didn't really want to do that for the rest of my life so yeah and sorry what kind of fishing was it um commercial fishing so we're catching like halibut and salmon and yeah and for those of you at home who don't know what that's like i mean i've never done it but i have friends who've done it and it is not easy it is no a it's a pretty dirty job, job. Yeah, yeah and like very physically demanding <laughs> definitely yeah. so that's like pretty impressive yeah um i wanted to just um tell everybody at home about how i found out about you so because it's Prince Rupert and because, um, <laughs> you know, work gets around fast and stuff like that. Um, I had heard from a, like a friend of a friend told me that there was a new hairdresser coming to town, which was very exciting. And you were coming from the city, which mm -hmm. is very exciting because, you know, a lot of times like, um, you know, like if you're kind of like working in the city, you're up on, you know, what's trendy and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it was really exciting. So I, um, found out who you were and found out you had an Instagram account, checked out your Instagram, loved your photos so much, like oh, loved everything, you. was so excited, so immediately contacted you. I think you had your phone number on your yep, Instagram. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and messaged you right away. And so you had a lot of people mm -hmm. doing that, right? Yes, so just definitely. tell me about that. Yeah, I was, um, from the minute I moved back, basically I was getting called and Facebook message and yeah, and I had a waiting list before I kind of knew where I was even gonna be working at the time whether it be my house or I don't think at the time I planned on opening a salon but it kind of just evolved that way but yeah nice yeah, yeah. so many people the hype was like huge yeah. right so it was really exciting <laughs> a little bit um, scary at the same time <laughs> yeah, especially when you don't know where yeah, you're for gonna sure. be doing hair yeah um so you got it all under control I want to mm -hmm. um I want to tell everyone about um, where you went to school. Can you talk about where you went to school? Um, yeah, so I went to Blanche McDonald. Um, loved it there. It was a great school. I'd highly recommend it. Um, yeah, it was a great experience. It was about a year long and pretty like intense. There was uh, yeah, you could only miss like so many days or else you're just basically dropped from the program. And yeah, we covered everything from like photo shoots to cutting coloring and uh, yeah, everything in between. It was yeah, great experience overall. Nice. And Blanche McDonald is like one of the premier mm -hmm. colleges for like aesthetics, for yes. hair, makeup, fashion. fashion. Mm -hmm. um, so did you just strictly focus on hair? Um, yeah, we did a little bit of makeup, but uh, I quickly learned that that was not really what I wanted to be in. I thought maybe I'd take the makeup program after, but definitely it's different like working on somebody else's face rather than your own. And so I just wanted to focus on hair, yeah. And have you always been passionate about hair? Like, were you, like, when um, you were a child? Were I've you, always like, been interested in it, but it wasn't, like, my lifelong, right. like, dream to become a hairdresser or anything. But, uh, yeah, I kind of just, like, didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I, I knew I liked hair and doing my own, so I just thought I would try it. And it was a year program, and if I didn't like it, they're, like, no harm done. But um, I, like, fell in love with it immediately, so I knew it was the right thing. Nice. Yeah. And so then you came to Prince Rupert. Um, how long has it been since you... Um, you it's, I opened in March and I was back in January so yeah oh wow yeah that's amazing yeah and you have this beautiful spot you've just I, I just love everything you've uh, done to it just thank you aesthetically it looks yeah, beautiful in here um, and so like total now how long have you been doing here um, about five years yeah yeah wow that went by fast <laughs> 
And so when you were in Vancouver, were you working at the same salon? Um, I started out in a salon with 18 stylists. Um, yeah, there was a lot of people, a lot of different personalities in one space, but I worked there for about a year and a half. And then I moved to, I actually took an advanced uh, balayage class with okay. somebody and she, we like clicked. And so I ended up getting a job there at a little boutique salon in like Yale town. Um, it was only like 400 square feet. So really small, but um, yeah, did a lot of balayage there and that's kind of what I'm trying to focus on now. It's my favorite, so yeah. Nice, and um, so I just want to talk a little bit about um, being in business for yourself. So mm -hmm. coming from going to school and then working in, you know, kind of other people's salons and mm -hmm. then going to owning your own business, like how has that transition been for you? Um, it's been good. I kind of, I think I've always like wanted to uh, be an entrepreneur. Like I knew that from like a long time, whether I didn't know in hair necessarily, but I've always kind of like liked manager roles or that sort of thing. So it kind of just felt natural. And I think when I've been working for other people, People. I've always kind of like picked up on things that I would maybe do differently or stuff like that. So it just felt, yeah, natural. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you started with, um, it was just yourself here. Mm -hmm. And now you have um, a few stylists with, yeah. with you. Yeah. So I have, um, Courtney actually is our newest one. She just joined. She's going to be doing just part time for now. And then Janessa, who also works at LeBlanc, she's here a few days a week. And then I have Alana, who's um, an assistant and receptionist. She's also gone to hair school, but just kind of helping out for now. Yeah. Nice. So you like within you know less than a year it's grown you fast expanded. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah awesome. yeah it's awesome it was never really the plan but it just kind of has been evolving and yeah, I'm just rolling with it yeah <laughs> yeah awesome that's good yeah all right so when we come back we are gonna uh, talk about this amazing event that Tyla just recently had uh, called beach waves and babes <laughs> so we'll talk about that when we come back